My name is Siamak Malemi. I teach a class called Security Pricing Models and Computation. The focus of my research is on developing advanced mathematical and computational tools in order to solve decision-making problems. And the main class of problems that I focus on are quantitative uh, problems in finance. Prior to becoming an academic, uh, I had spent uh, uh, you know, a good amount of time uh, working in, uh, in industry. I'd always worked um, uh, you know, uh, sort of quite uh, kind of quantitative uh, um, uh, jobs. And I was uh, um, you know, uh, always very interested in, in coming back and exploring some of the theoretical dimensions of these problems and developing more elegant models to, uh, to tackle these, uh, th these issues. Now that said, um, I've always thought of myself as a very practical person. I'm not a, uh, a theoretical mathematician. So what I, what I like about this area is number one, the problems are sort of very challenging and uh, um, uh, they, it does make a difference to, uh, to have um, uh, you know, better models and, and, and tools. Um, uh, and, and number two, they're also quite practical. Um, uh, the kind of problems I work on have broad ap applicability um, uh, across uh, uh, finance and uh, um, uh, you know, uh, one can have impact by uh, um, improving on uh, previous methods. People used to think that uh, a market is a bunch of uh, people trading in a um, uh, you know, pit like on the New York Stock Exchange or something like that. Um, that's not the way it works anymore. Markets are effectively a handful of computers in a few data centers in New Jersey all trading with each other. And if you want to go out, say, and buy a large block of, uh, uh, I don't know, Google stock, right, it, um, you can't just simply decide that, you know, I want to buy a million dollars worth of Google today. You have to decide how. Um, uh, how should you buy it? Should you buy more in the morning or more in the afternoon? How can you minimize your costs? Where should you buy it? There's approximately 40 different exchanges you can uh, um, purchase that, uh, um, that stock in, in the United States. And so there's a lot of decisions to make there. And um, uh, an area as mundane as trade execution has gone um, uh, from something that really used to be done by, uh, by people, these so-called traders, to, uh, to, to something that's done almost entirely algorithmically and where um, every large investment bank and hedge fund has a group that's dedicated um, to, to developing quantitative methods to, uh, to, to, to look at these problems. And these are the same uh, class of problems that I'm interested in. One thing I like to emphasize in the classroom is how quantitative decision making um, can become uh, um, crucial in um, many situations that uh, students might be um, uh, uh, familiar with. Uh, so, for example, the financial crisis of 2008 has given us a, a, a number of these um, cases. Uh, take, for instance, uh, um, uh, Bernie Madoff. Uh, you know, at the time, it uh, you know it took many years to sort of uh, uh, un uncover the fraud. And uh, you know, my belief is that uh, this is simply because people weren't thinking about it in a sophisticated way. Um, in in my class, given sort of a basic uh, a mathematical sort of uh, derivatives pricing and simulation tools, uh, it's sort of very obvious that uh, the the returns that uh, Madoff promised were, uh, were were completely fabricated. 